Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the last one we got our character running around a little bit, but he doesn't quite jump right. And not really too fond of these particular run animations, so we're going to update that a little bit. So if you go under the characters folder, this should be in your projects already because it's the mannequins. We're going to take some of the mannequin animations for Manny, and we're going to retarget them over to him. So I'm just going to right click and... Retarget, there it is. Doesn't matter which one you grab, just right click one of them. And then, oh, this is Quinn. It says Manny. Either way, you just want that animation. Then we'll go find our guy. Then let's go through. We don't want the MF. I think that's mannequin female. We want the mannequin male. So we want the fall loop, the idle, jump, land, run forward. Uh, walk forward I think that's all of them that we need so we'll export those over to the animation folder that we put the last ones in just like that just gonna make sure to close that oh close it and now we got some better running animations so I'm gonna go into my blend space real quick it's kind of bugging me the way that animation was looking so I'll just type in mm and they might be a little wonky just because it's a UE4 or UE5 going on to a UE4 skeleton. So you kind of got this uh, kicked up like a bakery thing going on. But, you know, it works out. And we got the walk. You can keep the other one if you want to. I just, I'm going to be using the jump from this and so figure I just... He kind of bows his chest out while he's running too, but you know, with the jacket on, you can't tell. He's bu he's bundled up for cold weather. We're good. So I'm just gonna save everything real quick. See how that looks in game. Not great, not terrible, kind of middling. It'll work for a tutorial, right? You'll obviously want to use a better character, better animation. I mean, this is just an opportunity to learn with free stuff. But now let's work on the jumping. So. To do that, we are going to be setting up animation montages. So if we go find our character, player, animations, we're going to need the jump, the jump animation, this one that we just got. I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an montage. This will be MT for montage underscore pl player. So the way I like to organize them is I say empty obviously the montage then underscore the who the montage belongs to and then the action of the montage so if we open this up we can see he's jumping here the reason we're doing a montage is because he doesn't quite if you just have him do this straight from the jump it won't really look that great because he doesn't actually leave the ground until about here roughly so right about here we're going to add a notify, montage notify, and this will be actually when the jump event is fired in the player blueprint. So you can use montages for attacks, basically anything that's a one-off. A state transition is more like when you're going from non-combative to a combat state, but montages are good for actions like actually reloading a weapon or jumping or things like that. Throwing a grenade you'd use a montage, etc. So, but now with this, we can go, well, we're also going to need one more montage for a land. So with that land, we'll just create montage. And this is NT underscore player jump end. That one doesn't really need a, a notify. So we'll save everything real quick. Go over to our blueprints folder, open up our player BP. And then right down here at the bottom, you'll see our jump event. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't really need the stop jump. I'm going to disconnect the jump from here and just move it to the side. To disconnect something, if it's connected like this, just hold Alt and left click. So when we try to jump, we want to see first if our character is playing any montages, and then if not, fire through and play the montage and jump. I don't know why I set it up like there was going to be a list of things. Anyway, play montage. 
You want this one right here, the gray box. It has all these nodes on the end, that's the one you want. The other one looks like this, and you don't get as much control over it. So gray box, the one you want, looks got right there. So we're going to need that. We're going to need the mesh to tell it what skeletal mesh to play the montage on. Let's do our little check beforehand. So we'll get the mesh. We'll get the anim instance. And then we're going to check to see is any montage playing. We'll add this to a branch. And if no montage is playing, then we will be able to fire off our jump. So is any montage playing? No. Play a montage. So if your character's reloading or they're doing some kind of dodge roll, you won't be able to do that. It's a good way of checking to make sure. And the montage we want to play when we're jumping is the jump start. And now that notify that we set up, you don't actually need a name for the notify, but if you do have multiple notifies in one animation, then you can do a switch on this notify name on the notify begin and then do different things based off it. For this one we don't need that, we will get into that later on though. So on notify begin, we jump. Now we need to do the landed animation and for that we're going to do an event on landed. And for that we're just going to copy this right here and paste it down. These will look a little funny at first. I will show you what, how to fix it in just a second. Let's go into the animation blueprint real quick. So in our event graph of our blueprint, we need to tell this what to do when the character is actually falling. So from the as player BP in the event graph, I'm going to do an is falling check. Position it where I kind of want it. Promote that to a variable with a right click and call it B jumping because right now he be jumping plug that in compile and then we will go into the base state move this over a bit and then we will do a blend by bool this will let us blend between two different animation sets setups based on a boolean so is our character jumping if not play our normal running animation if he is, then we want to get our, I think it's called fall, yeah, fall loop animation. Plug that into here. And then for that, we need to make sure that it's looping. So we'll loop animation over in its details panels with it selected. Now we'll just kind of clean up the animation issue a little bit. As you see, it kind of doesn't do it right. The reason for that is it's blending when you blend a short animation, it kind of looks funny. So I usually take this down to like zero and then the blend out. So this is where you go from your running to the actual jump. And this is where you go from the jump back to your landed animation and it'll blend between at that rate. See? It also needs to be set up to be a full body animation instead of just a default because otherwise his uh, his arms will go through the motion, but his legs won't. We can do that by going up into the window, going to Anim Slot Manager, and then that'll put an, a new tab down here, and we can add a slot. I'm going to call this one Root. So we got our default slot, that's an upper body animation, and a Root that will be a lower or full body animation. So back in the animation blueprint, we will go find our Anim graph at the beginning where we set all this up. Right here, this one stays default, but this one, if you highlight it and over in the right, you can change it to a root. Now we also need to go to that jump end and change its blend modes to about the same thing, because they're, they're both short animations. But now when we jump in, it's not playing it. Should be. 
Did I not set up the... Oh, and um... Okay, so these layered blend per bone that we set up in the last one, we didn't fully set it up. So we're not telling it what area to actually blend the animations from. That It's handy. So the way you can tell which animation or which bone you want to use is you can click that little drop down right, or that little button right there. It'll take you over. I'm going to blend this from spine zero one on the first one. So this one, we'll click this little plus sign. If it's like this, just click that drop down. And right here, it's going to be spine zero one, spine underscore zero one. It has to match exactly the bone name, or else it won't know which one you're trying to reference. And for the blend depth, I'm going to put that at three. The mesh space rotation and the mesh scale blend. Check both those boxes. Not 100% sure what they do exactly, uh, be honest with you, but without it, it makes the animation look weird. With these, it looks good. And the curve blend option, we're going to do a normalize by weight. Now for this one right here, we'll just click the little thing, and we just want to set it to be the root. So root. I am root. And we'll just leave all this the same because we don't want it blending, we don't want it doing anything, we just want it to play the full animation like it has. Now when we compile and come out, That's right. This one has to be the jump end animation. <laughs> and we need to tell it to use a different slot. So in your animation montage, you can go to the slot, change the slot name to be root. He's going to go into his A pose, but that's OK, because when we open it back up, you'll see. I'm going to double click and open this one and change it to also be root back to A pose. But once we save, we'll come back, and it's playing fine. There we go. Hmm, the landing animation kind of, you know, for the landing animation, maybe it can just blend from whatever. So I'm going to change that one back to default. That way the arms let us know, oh, he's landed. Looks a little funny. We could probably Let's set it to be 1.25 in the speed. And maybe that'll help. Looks a little bit better. So, yeah, now he can jump. It looks halfway decent. The camera angle is not that great, so let's just take our camera boom. I'm going to move mine up, set it to about 175 on the arm length and the socket. Is it socket or... Oh. I think it's socket offset. We'll set that to 55. If you use the wrong one, it rotates the wrong way. This looks good. So jump in. Yeah, it might be a little too close or maybe too far up. What if I set 225? Just kind of play around and get the feel you're going for. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. So, we'll do, we did some camera adjustments, fix the animation. Let's go ahead and group all this. So I'm going to set this next to this, kind of make sure everything's all cleaned up, put where it needs to be, and then we'll box select everything, hit C on the keyboard to put a comment box, and this is our jump stuff, just jump I guess. Alright, and the next one we'll start getting started on the animations for holding a weapon and then the actual weapon pickups themselves. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye.